Hey guys, we're going to be looking at simplifying algebraic fractions with common factors. And uh, to get started, here's a few examples. All right, so this is a really simple uh, question to start off with. Now you would have uh, done uh, you would have done a bit of um, simplifying algebraic fractions in the previous video. And if you haven't watched the previous video, I'd recommend you to watch the uh, the two videos before this one, so you get an idea of how to do these things. Okay, so. What, what, what's happening here is you want to simplify this equation. Now I know for a fact that 6 could be um, 6 is a common factor of 3. So I'm going to do it the, the long-winded way, which is 3x minus 2 divided by 6 could be written as 3 times 2. And of course the two th 3s cancel out, leaving you with x minus 2 over 2. All right. Now at this point you guys need to stop, all right, because I have seen people that start doing things like this, where they start going, oh, two and two cancel out each other. So, all right, that is incorrect. Please do not do that. Why? Because this two is um, is, a, is a fraction. And so when it's a fraction, we can write it like this, x over two minus two over two. Now, if you decide to cancel your two twos, then it's okay. So you'd get x over two minus one. Then this is fine. All right, but this here is not correct. But you can also leave your answer. This is simplified as well. All right, so you don't need to go past this point. So if I was to do this the, the quick way, all right, I look at the three and the six. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. And so therefore, this answer is x minus two over two. All right, next example. What about something like this? Well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do the long-winded guy, way, guys, but if you do want to see that, just pop it in the comments below. But the short way of doing this is, let's have a look. Right now, we've got 16x multiplied by x plus 1 and x plus 1, uh, divided by 2 times x plus 1. All right? So really, um, what we have is something like this. Because x plus 1 is a, a, a number, and if that's the same thing that's in the denominator as well, we can cancel the whole thing, all right? Because it's all multiplication. And 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8. So what I've left over with for my final answer is 8x. <laughs> that's it. Next question. So we got 5x minus 10 and 6x minus 12. Now you're thinking, actually, I can't really do anything with this. You can. The first step you really need to do in this type of question is you need to factorize. So if I factorize the numerator, I get 5x minus 2. And the denominator, I'm going to get 6x minus 2. And what you notice now is x minus 2 is a common factor. Cancel them out. And so your simplification is 5 over 6. Okay. All right. Another type of question. Whoa, something like this when we have quadratics. And um, I kid you not, the amount of times I see kids do this. All right. They write this up and they go x squared minus 9. And the first thing they do is they do this. All right. Guys, you can only cancel things out if they are being multiplied. All right. Or if they're inside brackets. You cannot do this. All right, you cannot do this if there is a plus and um, minus in it. So in this particular step, what you need to do is you need to factorize the quadratic, factorize the numerator, factorize the denominator. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to 11. That's 8 and 3. So I've got x plus 8 and x plus 3 divided by, and I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to minus 9 and add to 0. Now, this is difference of two squares. If you don't know how to do this, I'd say go back to about the video 25 or something like that in this series and actually watch how to uh, factorize quadratics. So x squared minus 9 could be written as x minus 3 and x plus 3. Now, look at your brackets and you'll see that x plus 3 appears in the numerator and the denominator. So cancel them out, which means your answer then simplified is going to be x plus 8 
over x minus 3. Now some people, some people, I kid you not, they do this. They go x plus 8 and x minus 3 and say, oh, x and x, cancel out. And they write their final answer as 8 over negative 3. People, this is incorrect. Okay, remember what I told you earlier. You can only um, cross out things if they're being multiplied. And in this situation, I've actually got a multiplication sign right there between the two brackets. That's why I can cancel out the brackets. All right, cool. That's it for this session, guys. Any questions, pop it in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.